Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of The Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige June. And happy 100th episode! We did it. We're in triple digits, Paige. I cannot believe it. You know, most podcasts do not even make it, like, past eight episodes. Well, we're here because of the rock fuckers. You guys are helping us take over the world. You keep listening and we keep making episodes. Thank you so much to everyone who stayed with us, to Maggie, Brett, yes. Beth, yep. everyone who's just been here helping out to get to these 100 episodes. And Agree. It's just fucking crazy. Agree. Thank you all for being here. We have something uh, special planned for you guys um, for our 100th episode. I'm going to make a couple little announcements and then we've got to get into it because um, this is a good one. Okay, a um, little update on my pussy. Um, last episode, I said that I was going to try not using soap. Um, Finally, dude. And it's going okay. But I will say, remember uh, weeks ago when I said my pH was actually pretty good and it hasn't been stinking in general? Yeah, and that's rare. That's very rare. Um, I have gone without soap and it hasn't been horrible, but I did slip up and use and use soap. And so I don't feel like I can give a 100%, but I did go days without it, and I wasn't smelling it. Well, you can't slip up. I know. Because well, that defeats the whole purpose. I know, but when you're used to just, you know, r- rubbing that bar of soap up your slit. <laughs> it, <laughs> just rub a finger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to, but I'm going to keep at it, and I'd like to give a long-term, a long-term assessment rather than just a few days or a week. I'd like to try it wholeheartedly for a month and see how it goes and, and come back and, and you know, talk about it then. Yeah, come back in a month. Okay, I will. I'll come back. I'll be here. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, second thing, Maggie took mushrooms before the episode, so. You did? I did. I yeah. took some shrooms. Some psyches? Yeah. Some psilocybin. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so she's on that. And then I'm going to announce Rock Fucker of the Week is... Tiffany Newton. Tiffany Newton. Bobby, can can we get a little? I I don't know which one. She still doesn't know the soundboard quite yet. It's named different. Okay. We gave her some bump. That's okay. Maggie is going to be reaching out to you, and we will send you a exclusive piece piece of viral podcast merch. Rock fucker of the week. Thank you. Now, thanks for clicking. Let's get into it. Okay. And now, (laughs) you guys. We are so excited to finally announce our very, very, very first podcast guest that's out of the crew, not a part of the podcast. Just a random dude. Just a random dude that has a fetish for feet. Yep. So we want to welcome Connor. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes. Hell yeah. Connor, Connor, is this your first podcast? Oh, second, second podcast. Oh, we're his second. <laughs> okay, all right. What other podcasts were you on? Oh, about two years ago, I was on my buddy's podcast called Beyond the Well, where I talked about my experiences with psychedelics and oh. things like that. So, okay, yeah. and Hell so he yeah. knows a little bit about that. He knows. <laughs> cool. Um, a so, dude. if you are new around here, or if you've stuck, if been with us since episode one, we have talked a lot about fetishes and foot fetishes. We've tried to get a foot fetish guy on here. Um, a lot of mishaps, a lot of people, you know, back out, blah, blah, blah. Um, but he's here today, and you are ready to talk mm-hmm. and open up. And, and ha- step up to the plate. He's going to step up to the plate. And here's how this happened. I'm scrolling my DMs. I get a random DM from this girl named Autumn, your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And she basically was like, Chelsea, I listen to the pod. If you're still looking for a foot fetish guy, my boyfriend has one. He'll come on the pod. And, and you're here, man. That's how it happened. Um, so I want, before we get into knowing the foot fetish, Connor, I'd like to know Connor, the man a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, where are you from, man? How old are you? What's up? Well, so I am 25 years old. Uh, okay. and I'm originally from, um, Southern California, uh, where? right outside, uh, right outside of Los Angeles. Uh, have you heard of Chino Hills? Sure yeah. have. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, that's my hometown. Chino okay. Hills. 
When did you move okay. to Tennessee? Ooh, about four, four or five years ago, I okay. would say. Okay. Four to five years ago. Which do you like better? Um, I mean, for living wise, I would say Tennessee. It's a lot easier to make yeah. a living and just live well. Whereas in California, you really got to grind yeah. if you want to survive. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Even for a freaking apartment. Absolutely. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. One yeah. bedroom. Absolutely. Yeah. So you got siblings. Yes, I have one sister. Uh, she just graduated from college. Okay. Uh, she's in Florida now. She's doing real estate stuff. Is she younger or older than uh, you? She's a little younger than I am. She's okay. uh, two, two years younger than I am. Does she know about your foot fetish? I don't know. Okay. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, she, she's gonna find out. She gonna know she, now, she, Connor. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be out there. So. She gonna know now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And everyone else who doesn't know. Exactly. This is me coming out of the closet. Yeah. Cool deal. So out w- of the socks. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talked with you on the phone the other day just to make sure that you know. Um, you were down for this, and you seemed very talkative and lively, and we're, mm-hmm. like, we're like, oh, this guy's great for the pod. Oh, for sure. When we talk to him, I'm like, dude, Connor's yeah. family. Yeah, exactly. You're family, Aww. man. When you're here, you're Thank family. You. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. I feel it. I feel it. It's a very warm family yeah. environment. This is great. Yeah, it's, it's positive. I can't even see him because there's a big light between us, so. You just, you can hear him. Yeah, That's but it. I can hear him. Yeah. Um, so. Let's get into it. Um, I did a little Q&A thing on Instagram, and I think the number one question, more than anything, and I don't even know if you can answer this, was foot fetish, dot, dot, dot. Why? It's loaded. It's a loaded okay. question. Um, I would I would argue to say, why not? Oh, okay. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean for... For one thing, I mean, you, you know, we're taught to like, you know, think that, you know, asses are sexy, tits are sexy, you know, but they leave out feet, you know. Okay. And it's something that, that I've had since I was a little kid, like ever since I was probably even like probably six, seven years old. Wow. I had that initial attraction to it, even before I had an attraction wow. to ass or tits or anything like that. It was it was feet. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I attribute it to that's the way I was made. It's kind of built. Can't explain it. Well, I can't. No. Yeah. And I've tried. I've tried to many yeah. people and I'm kind of just... Just the way it is. I did look up why people have a foot fetish and the psychology <laughs> behind it. Oh, it, let's hear it. Um, so I wrote it down. I guess there's an area in the sensory cortex of the brain that's mapped to the sensation of the genitals is right next to the feet sensation. So the feet and genitals, those neurons can get a little malt switchy. Malt switchy. <laughs> a little. They can get switched up. Wow. And that's like why. And I have heard that. Mm-hmm. The foot area is right next to like the sexual area, and sometimes it, they can cross and stuff. And it's just literally the way you were born, the way you were mm-hmm. made, the you way know. the cortexes kind of fell into place. Exactly. Yeah, there can be like a cross wiring between the those two neurons. Right. Wow, it's informative. I didn't yeah. know that. Wow. Yeah. And I do want to. I did have an epiphany just a few days ago because I've been thinking about the interview and doing this pod. And there is, you know, something you said on the phone. You you wanted to come on the pod to, to kind of break the stigma of it being weird or creepy or anything. 100%. And you're absolutely right. People, and I have even thought that is weird and creepy for multiple reasons. But people do think that because, you know, we've had a lot of callers call on this pod and kind of talk about their experience with, with foot dudes. Like we had a guy, we had a lady call in and said that she had a guy... Uh, said that he owned a shoe company mm-hmm. and that he wanted her to wear shoes, uh, test them out for him, and he would come by every 30 days and pick pick up the old shoes and give her new shoes. I mean, come to find out he was sniffing the shoes. That, yeah. That's more of a yeah. shoe fetish. And they're like, oh, they do weird stuff like that. But if you think about it, even non-foot fetish or non-fetish people, men and women, do weird shit. I mean, think mm-hmm. about all the men out and about just staring at your tits. Yeah, <laughs> Or your ass, or, you know, it's kind of the same shit. Or how many TikToks have you seen where someone confronts an old dude for taking upskirt pictures of girls in the grocery store? I mean, that's all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so Definitely get consent be- with any fetish. Get consent. That's number oh, one. Absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah. I think a lot of the time that, that the foot fetish thing can kind of go into the deviancy mm-hmm. area, you know? There's not... there's. Unfortunately, a lot of people that have the foot fetish kind of go a little bit too far with yeah. it. Um, so I think that might be where some of the stigma comes from. Definitely. Uh, definitely. And I want to get into that. But I think my first question is, and a lot of people had this question too, 
because it's kind of split. Half foot fetish people, and there are women who have foot fetishes. Mm-hmm. And I oh, thought yeah. it was just men. No, no. Until nope. we started this pod, and we have had so many women call in and be like, no, I've got a foot fetish. And just people calling in and gen- just so many mm. feet. Like, oh, a feet, ton. Feet are taking over the damn world. Yeah. I have noticed that. There's been a big trend towards yes. foot fetish. Mm-hmm. Um, my question is, and it's divided, do you like pretty, clean, well-manicured feet? Or do you like the nasty, stanky feet? I like well manicured, well taken care of. Okay. Feet. Yeah. Okay. Paint, <laughs> painted toenails. Yeah, yeah. I mean, colors are great. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite yeah. toe color? Yeah. Ooh, I like a, I like a maroon, kind of like a dark Ooh. red. Um, I mean, autumn looks great in black nail polish, so okay. that's become one of my favorites now. Um, okay. okay. So the darker. What yeah. do you, What do you think about the people that love the stinky feet? I'm I mean, fucking idiot. No, no not at all. Well, okay, because like, but you, you can't, you can't. That's not you. You're not right. Yeah, you like the clean. Sometimes I do like a little bit of stink. You know, okay. it kind of gives it like, okay, yeah, this is a foot. You know, some that. flavor. Some people feel that yeah. way about pussy. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They don't want you to walk because they want some flavor. Yeah, flavor, <laughs> flavor. You know, I want some character to it. For absolutely. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you? Okay. What is it about the foot, the looks, the arch? Are you an arch guy? Yeah, 100%. Okay. I think, I mean, there's a lot to it. I mean, there's the shape of the toe, the shape of the toenail. Wow. The what arch. kind of shape? Do you like, wow. like a royal toe uh, if the toe is longer? Like, how do you like your shape of toes? I kind of like them all kind of to be kind of... A slant? Uh, kind of like in the in in the same kind of like kind of a shape. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, you know how some toes have that little, like yes. one really long toe? Not really a huge fan of that, but I mean... Okay. It's okay. kind of my own thing. Um, you know, I think it goes person to person because, I mean, I've Absolutely. been attracted to many different types. You know, I think a lot of it goes into the person's personality, too. You know? Oh, okay. Like, once you get to know that person a lot more, then you kind of find, you know, everything about them more attractive. You'll let of, the big toe slide if you like. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. A good personality, big toe can slide for sure. The, Absolutely. Okay. It's called the royal toe, I think. Royal or, toe. If the, I'm learning so much about feet today. This is crazy. <laughs> That's if the, uh, yeah, that second one's longer than your. Yeah. But your big thumb toe. Mm-hmm. Is it called a big thumb toe? I have no, just big toe. Mm-hmm. Would feet be a deal breaker? Like with you, if you wanted to get with somebody, but they just had dank feet, but mm-hmm. awesome personality. If they, if they didn't take good care of their feet, uh, it would be kind of hard for me. Cause that's like kind of a big thing for me. You know, um, I would, I would prefer my partner to take good care of their feet. Yeah. Um, but like I said, if good personality, I can let some of that stuff slide for sure. Now wow. be honest. Mm-hmm. When you walked in, did you look at our feet? 100%. <laughs> Do you know what did color you really? nail polish we both have uh, on our you were, toes? You're wearing orange, right? That's Chelsea. That's Chelsea. You, uh, yours, I can't remember. But I do remember you were wearing like pink fuzzy slides, right? Yeah, and pink, Fair. And pink toenails. Wow, and you were quick. Okay, let me say, say this. You were quick on that because I was watching you. If you were looking at, and I did not Same. see you look at our feet Same. once. You're slick. He got the. It's only been like 23 years in the making. He's Malt He's Slicky. Holy He's slicky. Shit, dude. He's Malt Slicky. So, what'd you That's think? Awesome. And be honest. Be be truthful. You're not going to hurt our feelings. Mm-hmm. We want to know. What'd you think of our feet? If you saw my feet, her feet, what would you rate it on Wiki? It looks like you guys prepared for the podcast. We did. A little bit, yeah. Well, I did. I did not. Oh, well, good, because, good on you. Yeah, when we talked on the phone, I said, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna get them pristine," but it really wasn't pristine. It's a bad paint job. Yeah, don't look too. I just close. said I was gonna wear open toes for you. Yeah, I I I, I, I do remember that. I Maggie's remember in full on sock. She ain't. She's like, well, uh. Uh-uh. Before I left the house, I said, "I'm not showing my feet today. Yeah. I'm gonna wear socks in my tennis shoes." Yeah, <laughs> no, that is mitts, completely but... no, no, not that. That's totally fair. She's cock blocking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so rate rate us one to ten. And be honest. Oh, reading feet. That's crazy. Um, well, I mean, from like from what I've seen, I mean, I would say solids, solid eights are all around. Wow. Honestly. What would make it a 10? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe you need this a closer hard. look. This is hard because I don't like hurting people's feelings. No, you're no, so that's mean. Fine. Bro, you could literally say the word. I could prefer say- smaller feet. I prefer like okay. smaller petite feet. Okay. Than, like, the long, slender ones. And I'm a size 11. Let's yeah, put our you foot got some up. big ass you, feet. You did. <laughs> And look at that skin mine, on the side. Mine might have turmeric, a uh, turmeric <laughs> yellow color at the bottom, but I no, don't it's know. okay. That happens. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I have a large man foot. Oh, it's okay. Abs- no, I mean, yeah. yeah. I actually have small feet, like six 
and a half, seven. Yeah, that's a good size. That's a great size. Yeah. For sure. Wow, dude. So that's what I was wondering, though. Are you attracted to all feet or just women feet? That's women good, feet. Yeah. Okay. Women feet for sure. Yeah. Okay. I actually have the exact exact opposite attraction. Like I'm not. I do not like guys' feet at all. Hmm. Okay. Like, it really grosses me out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Damn, dude. Yeah. They get the gunk. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. No, dudes do not take very good care of their feet. That's right. Just, that's. Yeah, that's just a fact. So or when oh, fair, fair. <laughs> or their assholes, dude. Um, so let's get into the sexual um, mm. nature of this. What do you like doing with feet? Sucking on them. Yeah. Uh, Fucking foot, them. F- yeah, foot jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, all the above. <laughs> uh, yeah, all the, I mean, honestly, I mean, kind of like everything that you can do. I mean, I yeah. like toe sucking, uh, licking the soles. Um, Would I mean, you want a big toe in your butthole? Oh, see, no, no, no. Really? No, I mean, I'll take I a finger. I was going to ask that. <laughs> a big toe in the butthole. I'll take a finger yeah. or two, but no, I've never really thought of having a toe in my ass. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Do yeah. you like uh, your feet sucked on, played with? Mm, I've never really had my feet played with. Um, Whoa. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm kind of weird. I've never had a pedicure. I've never had really anyone really touch my feet. I don't know. I've, I've been kind of weird with that ever since I was a kid. Hello, and welcome to... The Moo Moo commercials. Before I started taking AG1, I would wake up feeling sluggish, just not really myself, my energetic self. So once I started taking it, I noticed my focus was on. I just felt good, a good balance and a good source of nutrition I could just tell was going through my body. I don't do very well at swallowing pills. So this is an easy solution for me. You just need eight ounces of water and one scoop of AG1. That's all you need. You shake it up and you just swallow it down. Easy, no choking. I feel like I struggle to get all of my vitamins in. So taking AG1 gives me a good source of vitamin C and zinc to help support my immune system. And just my overall health. Health is so important. And AG1 has a team of doctors and scientists. It is tested for 950 contaminants and NSE certified for sport. It is formulated based on the latest science and maintains high quality standards. Knowing what you're drinking is really important. You don't want to just be sucking back things that aren't healthy. Know where you're getting it. My daily AG1 routine is waking up in the morning getting the eight ounces of water, putting the scoop in, and chugging it first thing to get my day started. And that just really wakes me up for the morning and to just set off the tone for all day long. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash viral. That's drinkag1.com slash viral. Check it out. That is. Yeah. I thought for sure you'd at least play around with that. No, mm-hmm. no, no. I mean, I mean I'm all for sucking some toes, but the minute that my toe gets in a mouth, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Really? It's weird. I don't know. Uh, okay. What the hell? Okay. So what was would you say was the first thing that stuck out to you, like, when you were younger? Like, what was it that <sighs> made you think, okay, maybe I do have a foot fetish? Like, anything in particular? I mean, I remember back as far as, like, pre-K, pre-kindergarten. Whoa. The Being teacher? It. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't really necessarily like my classmates at that age. It was more like the, the older, the older women in my life, like teachers, you know, things like that. Yeah. Okay. That was actually a question somebody asked. I'm trying to find the question here. Yeah. Um, they asked, "Do you have to be a young 20 year old foot, or can it be a the 50 year old woman foot? Does it matter? Not necessarily. Really? No. No. Not at all." So, you know what? You kind of have a benefit because I'm sitting here thinking, you know, so to you, seeing a a nice foot out in public is almost like seeing a bunch of cleavage out in public. Yeah. Yeah. I I have attributed it to that. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the same thing for me. Like the open toe shoe is like a... 
like a v-neck shirt like you might see every once in a while a woman wearing a really low you know with her cleavage popping out that's not like a every person every everyday thing but an open toe foot you're seeing that everywhere you go 100 percent. and are yeah. you looking everywhere you go um, no, I mean, I try not to, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to be that guy. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, occasionally if I see a foot that looks nice, you know, I'll give, yeah. it, a, give it a gander, but you know. But you're not walking in Kroger looking at every Just fucking foot down. that passes you. No, that's okay. when the deviancy uh, comes into it. I try to not do that. Yeah. You don't keep your sunglasses on in the store just looking. <laughs> Dude, I never wear sunglasses. It's terrible. Oh, okay. you might need to pick that up. I, I know, right? I'm the same way. I'm the same way. If I had a foot fetish, dude, I'd keep my glasses on all day, just fucking. You, <laughs> well, don't, think, you don't know what I'm looking at. I'm thinking you may want to, but you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to feel pervy or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, like I said, like I've had it for so long that it's like I'm kind of used to it. You know, it's kind of like when a guy's, you know, most guys when they're looking at, you know, a woman's breasts or an ass, they try to be somewhat covert about it and not stare. Not all the time, but sure. sometimes they try to do yeah. that. And that's kind of how it is with me with feet. Have you ever been in public and saw a really nice pair of feet and got a boner? Ooh, not like off the rip. I mean, maybe a maybe a slight chub, but it takes. I mean, a wow. little bit of uh, uh, stimulation to kind of get it to a okay full extension. Yeah, you would have to touch the foot, or could you just look at a foot? I could look at a foot and and pop it. Yeah, and I mean, may, maybe a little help from you know my left hand, but yeah. Other than that, yeah. Um, now, is it harder to come without? feet involved versus with feet involved Ooh. so if you had sex no you're sucking no feet you're touching no feet you're looking at no feet nothing it's purely butthole pussy tits sometimes that keeps me going longer sometimes i i can bust too quick if i focus too much on toes the feet wow yeah i need to like yeah slow it down yeah you have to think about the pussy rather than the foot to slow you down I, from coming so sometimes like i one thing that I like to do in missionary, I like to have the feet on my face while you know okay. it's happening. Sometimes I have to like take it off for a second because it's just I'm I'm getting there way too fast. So okay. so if you're doing missionary and the feet aren't in your face and they're down behind you, yeah. are you thinking about the feet? Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give a little give a little look back at it. Yeah, for sure. Look, he's looking I'll back look, at it. That's dude, awesome. I'll yeah. Look back at the feet. <laughs> That's awesome. Or if, dude. It's, uh, or if it's in doggy, sometimes I'll you know take a little take a little yeah. look. Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah. So she's in missionary, and then she's doing a full ass damn contortion back, and then she just kind of has like no, um, like on 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 my face. On your covering your eyes. Like boom, boom, yeah, full full smother, one hundred percent. Feet to the face. Wow. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Has this ever been an issue with partners or relationships? Ooh, yeah, uh, I, I have had some partners that are definitely made me feel very fucking weird for it. Oh, yeah. so sad. Yeah, it definitely sucks. It definitely sucks sometimes. But, I mean, it's 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 like, I mean, I've like I said, I've had it for so long that I have to be true to myself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that if someone's not with it, I know that there's, you know, plenty of other people that absolutely you know, would be okay with it. So, yeah, like in high school, uh, maybe early on I had some issues, but. Yeah. For the most part, it's been it's been pretty pretty smooth sailing. With are it. you when it's a new partner? Are you usually nervous? One hundred percent to bring that up. Well, usually what I like to do is that if um, you know a sexual conversation comes up, I, I I like to put that on the table. You know, like hey, just to let you know, this is my thing. You know, what are your thoughts? I yeah. like to kind of put that on the table because I don't like to you know surprise them with that. Right. Yeah, you know, that might kind of ooh. Yeah. Might throw things off yeah. a little bit. And, and I bring up partners and past partners because you and your girlfriend, Autumn, just started dating. Yes, just recently. By the way, mm -hmm. this is a very fresh relationship. Weeks in, what, a month in? Yeah, about a month in. And she messaged me at least a couple weeks ago, if not a little more. So she found out you had a foot fetish a and, week in. and could not message me fast enough. And I <laughs> fucking love her for that. Oh, dude, she probably went out looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, right. so this is, so were you nervous to, to bring this up to her? You know, like, Hey, how did uh, you bring it up? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't as nervous as I was with other people. Okay. Um, cause I definitely felt like right off the rip, there was a really good emotional connection. Yeah. Um, she was accepting. Yeah. Just like off the rip. I mean, we just, we just worked really well. So for me, I'm like, well, you know, let's just bring it up, you know, see how it rolls. And I mean, it was, it was, she just rolled with it. And, uh, That's awesome. yeah. And that, that always means a lot to me, you know, yeah. did you sit like, sit her down though how do you like initiate it though like hey uh 
I just want to let you know you, I have a... Or do you not? Do you just go in and start sucking the toes and see see what happens? See, I have I have gone that route before, and that's why I bring it up beforehand, before I start going in, because that can throw some people off. Um, I think how I brought it up was like probably over text. We were just talking, talking, talking slightly sexy stuff, and then I was like, I like feet. And then, okay. yeah, and then, and then I'm, now I'm here on a podcast. <laughs> about my book shit. She's like, perfect. He's I, like, I she, got something for you. She yeah. made me come on the Bobber <laughs> podcast and talk about it. And here I am. Holy <laughs> shit. I love it. I love it too, dude. Oh my dude. gosh. I love it. Um, fuck, dude. Well, I you want to do a little more. seggy? Yeah. What is that? Shit, sorry. Barbara, who's calling you? I call think Barbara. it's. Oh, Lord. A scam or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, let's do a little saggy. Okay. Let's let's do a little um, guess this sound special edition for our little uh, guest here. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Huh? Ma'am. Guess this sound. Hell yeah. Ma'am. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a sound. Okay. <laughs> and you try to guess what it is. It is as simple as that. Okay. Let's do it. We've got three for you. I have one. Paige has two. And here we go. Okay. Oh, shit. You want me to go? No, here I got this one. Here we go. Hold on. Ma'am. Could be anything, Connor. It sounds like a staple onto fabric. Ooh. You're on the right. You're getting there. <laughs> You're getting You're there. Getting there. It, Here, give me a couple this, plays. Give me. This a... is uh, guess the sound. Oh well. Okay. Here we go. I keep thinking like fabric and scissors or something like okay. that. I mean, I don't know. Am I on the right track? Maggie, do you have any guesses? What about that sticky thing on the back of your phone? You're picking it up. Oh, that's that's that sounds oh. like that. Yeah. No. What is it? It's me cutting my toenails. <gasps> oh, oh my god. <laughs> he was right that's about good. cutting something. That's good. Yeah, that's that's yeah. you knew something was happening. I knew something was being yeah. cut. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay. Okay. So do you sense. like longer or shorter toenails? I mean, as long as they're well manicured, they could be a little longer. Yeah. It could be more short, just, you know, just toe. Do you right. like the square-shaped toenail or the um, circle? That's a good question. Or the half moon or whatever Ooh. the fuck it's called. What's like that middle ground between it? There's like, there's one Ooh. that's a little bit yep. rounded and yep. a little bit yep. squared. I, I, uh, that's, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. You ready for okay. my sound? <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm it, ready. Here we are. <laughs> Connor is guessing this sound. Here this we go. Is fun. That's duct tape. Oh, no. There's no wrong answers, Connor. It sounds like you're sawing with a piece of duct tape. Oh, that sawing it does sound piece? just like that. With a piece of duct tape? Yeah. It does. <laughs> one more time. Yeah, one more time. I know what it is. Does it have anything to do with feet? Yes. Oh my God. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I should gear my, my guess is more towards feet. Uh, I think Maggie knows what it is because yeah. she probably hears this all the time from I me. Uh-huh. All right, Maggie, you want to guess? Yeah. Or you, you, you don't know? Um, I don't want to take it away from you. One more time? Uh, yeah, you know what? Just give me one more. Just here, here we the go. old college try. Yeah, the only thing that I can think of is just duct tape, like on a piece of wood. I don't know. I but but I know it's not that. I know for a fact it's not that. So duct tape your, on feet. You got your cheese grater going down your foot, and I'm scraping my skin off. No fucking way. Yeah, she, she gave you the cheese, Chelsea. You probably never <laughs> seen feet like this, but her feet are cheesy. Cheesy. Wow. I've got one foot that on the heel, on the inner side of it, mm-hmm. gets, there's like a two or three inch area that gets the thickest, hardest skin. And and I have like a foot cheese grater. It's like a, it's like one of those cheese graters. Does it look like a cheese grater? Yeah. Yeah. But like a, <sighs> with the little holes. 
Why does it get built up like that? I don't know. And if and I have to really, I have to saw it down at <laughs> least <laughs> at oh least God. at least once a week. Mm-hmm. If I go a, if I go a couple weeks without doing it, it gets so thick and white and yellow, and you can obviously see it. And it's just that part of my foot. There's, mm-hmm. it's really nowhere else on one foot, and I have to cheese grate that shit off, oh or else God. you'll freaking get off balance, probably. Right. <laughs> what do you right. do with the buildup? Oh, the- I was just about to say. I was just about to say we were in a hotel one time. Stop. And she was doing it. It was all over the carpet. No. Oh. That's why. I but hate she walking laid, on She floors. did lay towels down. And I've logged oh, okay. it. People, people got so mad at me. It looks like Parmesan cheese. Yeah. And it will pile up into a little pile. I'll usually put like a towel down or I'll go do it outside. Um, or I'll put my foot over the bathtub and just rinse it down the drain or something. Okay. All right. Yeah. My mom's done that all my life. Really? Grated her feet. Wow. Does that turn you on or no? The cheese? <laughs> you know, I can't He's say like, it turns me on. Uh, I find it interesting. I That's... Yeah, but no, 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 He's no. He's like, really. absolutely not. <laughs> so yeah. you wouldn't sprinkle any of that Parmesan on, yeah. on a salad? When you were saying that, I couldn't help but think of like, do you like some cheese? Right. Your... <laughs> Just say when. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That was right. that was really creative. That was that yeah. was good. Thank you. Okay, here's one more. Get those ears ready. All right. Uh, now you're filing your nails. Yep. Oh, yeah. he's okay. good. Oh, you were quick with that. He's good. Now, have you ever <laughs> been with someone for the first time or whatever, and let's say you're sucking on toes or you're doing whatever, and you genuinely get grossed out by it because their feet aren't what you thought? Mm. <laughs> you know what? There, I can't really. There were a couple times in high school where, um, like, a girlfriend of mine, she uh, always had, she always always wore, always wore sandals, which was cool in the beginning, but then she ended up always having perpetually, like, black feet. Like, at the oh. bottom, they were always black and dirty. Mm-hmm. And I'm not one of those guys who's like, oh, you should wash your feet. Ugh, they're yeah. gross, this and that, you know. I may want to, like, drop hints, but I'm never like, you know, do this for right. me. Right. So that that was kind of like mm, I kind of did a lot uh, less foot stuff for. How okay. do you even drop hints? You just get like all these doormats. <laughs> I'll just be like, damn, wipe, those wipe are feet. black. <laughs> Give her some Doctor Shoals for her birthday. <laughs> Wipes, for bath water starting. That's funny. And like, how would you drop hints if that's your fetish? Like, it's just like a girl's pussy stinking, but you don't want to be like, your pussy stinks. Or the breath right. stinking, yeah, you know? You'd you know, be like... Yeah, it's the same shit. Like, how do you give those hints for real? But I'm not going to lie. I mean, I get black bottom foot on a, on a regular oh, basis. Mm-hmm. It happens. Oh, absolutely. If, if you're wearing, you know... No shoes. Yeah. Exactly. But if it's like all the time, like just, yeah. that's just like a perpetual state of being for the feet. Mm. Yeah. Um, I have a okay. question here from Jessica on Instagram. She oh. wants to know, I saw a pocket pussy that had toes on it oh instead my. of the slit. Yeah, that's disturbing. Would that be something that you would do? Absolutely not. Really? Um, yeah, that's that's when the foot thing gets into the deviancy thing. Okay. You know what I mean? Like there's that, there's that fine line between like wanting to suck toes and like... Okay. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I would never shame someone for having a, a pocket pussy that looked like a foot. I just look at it. Uh, gotcha. Not for me. Not me. What's it called? A footsie? I don't know. Uh, they should just make one with two feet side by side. Right. Yes. Not, don't put a hole in the sole. <laughs> right. No, yeah. Just put two together. Then yeah. a little arch. Yes. Have the arches come together. That'd be much more efficient, I yeah. think. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do out of all of it? Sucking? Fucking the feet, sucking the feet, sucking the, f- you know, what's your number one? Oh, this will make me nut in 30 seconds. <sighs> We're hitting you with the deep questions. Yeah, sorry. So I, so aside from just feet, I also have a thing for like nylons, okay. fishnets, certain Ooh. socks. That's a big thing. Over, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if they have like fishnets on or some type of nylon and that's happening, I really got to pace myself. What about toe socks? <laughs> Ooh, they can be fun. Those can be fun. I don't necessarily. I think they're cu- more cute than they are hot, you know. Okay. Um, but hey, I mean, I mean, I can appreciate a good pair of toe socks for sure. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Those I are a good love time. Toe socks. Oh, they're Absolutely. super comfortable they're, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the comfortable part because I feel like the in between parts of my toes kind of get, they start hurting. But they're okay. cute. 
to me. Yeah, no, they do look very cute for sure. But yeah, I'm definitely <clears throat> I'm also into like fabrics a lot. Like okay. the fabrics of the sock or the nylon have to be, you know, a certain uh, that's when that's when my fetish kind of is a little bit different from other people's. Because okay. mine tends to be more geared towards the fabrics. So like textures, maybe. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. Like, are you going for like a silky? Or? Yeah, yeah. Like silky socks, silky nylons, tights. Yeah, that's fantastic. Whoa. Wow. If you had to pick one, feet, pussy hole, or butthole. I mean, I would have to say pussy hole because I mean that's oh, okay. like life giving. You know, you can't okay. really get life from butt or feet. You know. Okay. okay. Probably, but 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 for sure, feet. Okay. He's definitely up there. Um, I have a really good question somebody asked on Instagram, and I thought this was clever and very smart and very serious. Okay. Do you know if one of your parents or grandparents also have a foot fetish? Is it hereditary? So I have had suspicions that my dad might. Wow. And and why? I see certain characteristics, those things that he does, and I'm like, I, I do shit like that, you know, to... Like yeah. you'll see wow. him like He'll point out, like he'll point out my mom's feet. And be like, oh, they're so pretty. And I'm like, mm, shut the fuck up. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so is it weird for you to look at your mom's feet or your siblings' feet? I just don't let my brain get to that point. And to, for me, it's I mean, it's my sisters, my parents. You know, it's like you know, it's their feet. You know, so you can look at their feet and shut that part of your brain off without. Right. Yeah. So it, it's not like it's kind of like it's kind of like, you know when you see your mom or your dad naked. You know. Okay. You just. Pfft, it yeah. instantly just goes off. You're like, mm, no. Okay. Yeah, but feet are out all the time. You know, yeah. that's like why I my be... dad's cock isn't always out. Or you yeah. know, yeah, that, okay. So yeah, like... no, that's 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 very fair. That's very fair. Yeah. yeah. So you constantly just have to have blinders on almost. Sometimes, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like in Payless. Yeah, I don't go into Payless very often. No. <laughs> <laughs> really. Foot Locker. You. Oh yeah, Marshall. Foot Locker. Yeah, no, I stay away from those. I bet a ton of feet fetish people do though. They huh? do. Go they into do the it. Stores? Yeah. What do they do? Just like walk around or I've I've heard of some people that will go into Payless and act like employees. Stop. And they'll like yes. oh, let me go in the back and get you this shoe. What, what size are you? Let me do, do, do yes. like the foot measurement thing. Yeah, I've heard of that. No. There's a famous Sex in the City episode and and I have heard this too where a man is um extreme foot fetish and he works as a um not a regular shoe but like a high-end fancy you know like expensive shoe place okay. and the women will come in and he like loves like putting the shoes on them touching the feet taking the fabric you know the nylons on. it's like a big thing where a lot of shoe uh, foot fetish dudes will work in the shoe industry yeah for wow. that reason i mean they're chasing their dreams i mean yeah <laughs> oh man yeah. oh who wants better sex and who wants to start having better sex immediately? Me. Well, the best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, you guys, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. Thank you. Ooh, and listen, okay, they offer discreet shipping, okay? Privacy is a priority, okay? Discreet shipping, so if you think, oh, there's a weird guy that lives across the street, I don't want him knowing what I'm ordering, guess what? He's not gonna know. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You guys don't wait. Better sex is just a click away, okay? That's 50% off one item plus free shipping. And guess what? You got the holidays coming up, all right? <sighs> These gifts will be great. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. <sighs> All you got to do is go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Ooh. Just go to adamandeve.com. Use code viral at checkout. That's viral. V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I heard Quentin Tarantino uh, made a role 
that was like this chick walking up and having tequila. Yeah, Salma Hayek. Yeah, Salma in, uh, Hayek. From Dust yeah. Till Dawn. Yeah. yeah. That's the whole reason why she was in that movie, basically, yeah. so we could suck her toes. And then he, yeah, he put himself as in that role to suck her toes. And, like, everyone says he has a big foot fetish. I mean... He made it happen. Yep. He wanted to Chase suck Salma dream. Hayek's toes so bad, the motherfucker wrote a movie, produced a movie, casted, casted himself in the movie, directed the movie to make it happen. And I'm not going to lie, that's smart. If you want to fuck somebody, become a director. Because he did it legally. Yeah. 100%, <laughs> yeah. She signed. You know, like she knew what she was signing up for, the, the movie. He That is, wow, I never knew that. No. I've yeah. heard he is a foot fetish guy, but I didn't know like he went through that all that. I looked it up yesterday because I was just like, I need to know more feet facts. Yeah. So that was one yeah. of them. I was like, oh, damn. And she really wasn't having that scene either. <laughs> really? really? She did not like that. Yeah. That he that she got got. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she well she definitely didn't like that scene because she was he was obviously into it. Like you could see him, and he's obviously you know dude stimulated. They, they really? Pro they probably got the take. On the first try, and he's like, ah, let's get it from another angle. Yeah. Let's get it on camera, yeah, he too. Let's <laughs> he's probably secretly unplugging yeah. cameras and I shit. I have several takes of this planned out. Yeah, I wonder, I was thinking, how many takes I wondered was this? Because I was watching him just sucking on her toes, and I'm like, there's no way that this was the first take. Uh, I need to watch that movie now. I feel like I've it's seen it. It's a great it. movie. When I was a kid, I've, I've seen it, but not, it's not, I don't remember that scene. I wonder what other feet things he's got himself into. He, that movie he was in, uh, that he, um, the recent one with um, uh, Brad Pitt. And oh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Which, which I'm not a big fan of his movies, Quentin Tarantino. I'm not a hater, but I, it's hard for me to get into him. I loved that movie so much, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Really? I've heard you say it's that. A good movie. And there's a scene yeah. where uh, one of the girls has her feet up. Uh, Oh, a bunch of his movies. Yeah. And yeah. then I think he did uh, Pulp Fiction, right? Mm -hmm. And then the massaging, the feet is in that one. There's just so, all he, of his He's always things. dropping hints of his foot fetish mm -hmm. in it, movies. It's too clear not to see. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, no. they're right in front of the camera. Right. They're like main focus. Right. I mean, if they're there, they're, <laughs> right. they're there. Because if you're not a foot fetish guy, you're not going to make it a big part of your well, career. Well, even if you are, for me, when I see that, I think it's a little over the top. It's really? just kind of like, in my face, you know? Yeah. I don't know. This, it's, it's, it's not covert at all. I don't know. Wow. Like, sometimes if it's too much out there, it's like... It's so in your face that it's not sexy anymore. Okay, that's what I was saying. Like, a lot of people who are very modest, people want to see those modest tits. Fair. People, people who show a lot, you know, it's just kind of like they've already seen it. So there's no not, mystery. Yeah, there's no. Yeah. What does it look like? Cause Makes it's sense. Already out there. Um, how do you feel about toe rings or anklets? Ooh, that's a good one. You know, when I was in high school, I used to love toe rings. Yeah, I used to be a huge fan of them. Um, there was there was actually one time, um, when I was engaging in some toe sucking that had a ring on it, and I almost swallowed it. I had to like cough it up real quick. So what? you you yeah. suck on them toes hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I, liked, I, I, was, I was trying to put it on and off and on and off with my if tongue, you, and it went. Boop. Oh. If you suck a toe ring off, you're 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 putting some pressure on it. You're not yeah. doing a light suck. You're really sucking. Well, this on was it. like when I was maybe like 16, 17, like really starting to delve into okay. it. You know, like all these years of thinking about it, and now I have the ability to. So you know, right. So you got you that live blood. and you learn. Yeah. You got that blood to the tip of the toe. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's yeah. So I stay away from toe rings now. Really? Yeah, I'm so what? Of them. What if you see an anklet? Is that a turn on, or does that not even matter? It's not. It's not. I. I think it's really cute. I think it can be. It can make you know it very, very attractive. But it's not like a big thing for me. You know? Oh, okay. Jewelry yeah. on the feet. Yeah. Okay. What is the nastiest? And not not. I don't mean nasty in a bad way. But what is the raunchiest or most out there thing you've ever done with a foot or feet? Autumn, are you learning a lot from this? <laughs> are, okay, she's already been asking. I tried him all to give her the rundown on okay. everything I could think of before okay. I started dropping bombs on her. Okay. Yeah, his, his girlfriend is right here. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. The, oh, raunchiest, like. Like, did you come on a toe and then that, suck on him after, and then? I was about to say that's probably nor that's probably you know not that bad. Coming on a toe, that's like coming on tits. Or yeah, something. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a big thing, you know. I mean, like coming mm -hmm. on feet. Um, one time I, ugh, like, she wanted me to lick them off, and I did, and it wasn't really my thing. 
Lick, like the come off? Lift the oh, lick the come yeah. off of her oh. feet, like my yeah. cum. And I went, oh, and, so I, and I wasn't having it. I was like, mm, yeah, okay, and then yeah. Well, yeah. nobody really likes eating their own cum, no, or cum in general. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially after it's been. I mean, some there. people have that fetish, you know, snowballing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a thing. That Absolutely, there is really a fetish for fucking exactly everything. Yeah, but licking your own cum that's just been crusted on over the toes, like. Crusted. Oh, I mean, it was fresh, but it wasn't. It, it hadn't any, you know, sitting time, waiting time. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't was crusty. Fresh cum, yeah. Damn, How did it dude. taste? How did your cum taste? <sighs> I don't know. Salty, cummy. Salty, cummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. How do I describe it? I don't know. It is kind of a. Hard I've never thing. had to describe the own taste of my own cum before. Yeah. It's interesting. Well, you're on the Valor podcast. The, this so. is this is this is true. <laughs> this is true. You're here. I'm <laughs> um, a lot of people. And I already know this answer, but it was asked a lot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, ask you: Do you think that this will ever eventually wear off? Is it a phase? Do you think you'll move on to stuff? I kind of know the answer, but a lot of people asked. Yeah, absolutely not. I, this is yeah, this is this is a, as much a part of me as I am. You know, this is until the day you die. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, the fact that I was turned on my feet. First, before I was by ass, yeah, yeah. Tits, at such a young age, legs, you know, yeah. whatever it may be, like young, young age, so, right? Yeah. yeah, feet or life, feet, one hundred percent. How do you feel about hair on the toes? Oof. You like a good shave? Yeah, yeah. I, I prefer it. I prefer, it, but like I said, you know, it all depends on the person, personality, you know, who they are, what they are. Um, you know, I can let things like that slide and kind of incorporate yeah. it into their, you know, to the, who they are. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of just make, it, make it a thing. I what it, always got a little bit of peach fuzz on my toes. That stays. Well, peach fuzz is okay, but I yeah. like thick, dark hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably, probably would say gotta no. Got to go. Yeah. What if, you, let's say you're licking on the bottoms of the feet, the sides, whatever, whatever you, you know, love to do, mm-hmm. and you feel a bunion on your tongue or a piece of hard, Build you know, up. Build up. Mm-hmm. Is that good for? Do you do you like that? Maybe on a texture wise, or do you just like it smooth? I prefer it smooth. Smooth. Um, if I happen to come across a rough part, I might take care of it afterwards. Like I might like you know get it off for them real fast. So they have like a, a, a rock shit. or something. Yeah. What a cool dude! <laughs> you keep tools on him. He keeps Damn. tools on him. Dude. If they do, if if they have like one yeah. of those little rocks, you know, the little stones. Dude, dude. down there, not a cheese grater, bro. but I can imagine Connor being like a- after sex, being like, "Baby, uh, you had a little, you had a little bunion down there. You mind if I get that for you?" <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a fucking scraper. <laughs> or if he's just fucking down there sucking on your toes and then you hear <laughs> all these tools come out. And you're like, what the fuck is he doing? Time out, time out. We're going to. Right. <laughs> got a bunion. Oh, Holy God, shit. dude. Did you guys want to slip into trivia? Were we doing that, this? Oh, hell yeah. We're yeah. doing trivia. Yeah. Do Are you, you want to play? I would love to play trivia. Please. Okay. All right. Let, okay. Let's do it. Hit it, Maggie. Get trivi. Get trivi, y'all. Uh, get trivi. Get trivia, huh? Fuck me. Get uh, trivia. Get trivia. Uh. Okay, so Connor, you have your buzzer over there. I do. Oh, you spilled your bev. Oh, your shit. bev is down. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Half a bottle of Mountain Valley just Damn. straight on the rug. Awesome. All right, Five fucking pee. All right. Okay, you got your buzzer. I have my buzzer. And she sounds like this. There you yeah. go. Oh yeah. So if you know the question, the answer, don't blurt it out. Give us a buzz. Whoever okay. buzzes first gets to answer. And there's really no. We kind of don't even know how to play this. We just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're, we're we're new. Yeah. If you don't get it, then somebody else gets to answer. It's whatever. Yeah, and we could honestly get asked the same question every episode and not know the answer. Right. Okay. That's bad. And us. Beth put a new Beth put a new little um. Uh, little category category on here called feet facts. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. So what is a feet fact? Well, we're about to we'll find, find out. out. All right. I guess. Okay. Righteous. Here we go. And history. history. Purple. And Maggie's asking the questions today. You got it, Maggie. Purple. Here How we go. many days was the Titanic sailing before it sank? Eleven. Oh shit! 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 I forgot the game. Three. I buzzed three. So I don't have my I, I can't find the sounds on here, but no. What is it? Four. Oh, you were close. so close. That was close. Good. I was close. Was I, I knew it wasn't long. Four days. 
We'll Four give days. it to you. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Although You're I was welcome. wrong. But. Malt spinny. Malt. A day's a day, dude. Yeah, malt spinny. The stars. The stars Ooh. and beyond. Red. Okay. Here we go. Base. Bear with me. Hold on. We're, we're bearing with you. Take your time, Maggie. Okay. We're ready. Country music superstar and legend Dolly Parton received her Hollywood Walk of Fame star in what year? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm going to guess the 90s or early 2000s. I'm going to guess 97. Uh, uh, uh. Anybody else? I guess I'll just take a guess. You go. I'm going to have to say early 80s because that's when 9 to 5 came out. I'm going to say it was 82. Um, smart. 1984. Ooh. Oh, shit. Ass. So close, close. Hey, See, I'm good with there. movies. Anything movie related, I'm, yeah. I'm your guy. Yeah. You were there, dude. I see the, com- <laughs> I see the comments now. I'm too disappointed in Tilty. <laughs> For what? For not knowing that. I'm a, I'm a dolly. Oh, but come on, dude. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to be the dolly that they right. pull things on. Mm. You're right. And not Dolly Parton. You're absolutely right. That's fair. Okay. Ready? Oh, yeah. Animals, animals, purple, animals, purple. Righteous. Here animals. we go. Hold on, I gotta find That's it. okay, man. It's all right, animals. Maggie. Take your time. I'm not used to this. Animals. Hold on. Take your time, Maggie. You're doing great. How are those oh. uh, psilocybins oh, working? Oh, yeah. How are you feeling? She's Good. over there just seeing no. fucking... Maybe that's why it's taking her forever to find a... Okay. <laughs> <She's>... okay <laughs> here we go. <laughs> uh, what are the only two mammals known to lay eggs? Ooh, oh, man. Fuck, dude. I know one of them. Is a duck a mammal? Ooh, can I go? It's not duck. No. Okay. Yeah, okay, fair. Um, is one of them a fucking golly? <coughs> is something weird like a palata? No. Three. Palatopus and a shit. Dude. I'll help you out. Alligator. <laughs> no. no a pala- That's a reptile, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is palatopus right? So it's a duck billed platypus. Is one of them? Mm. Duck billed. Okay, platypus. Okay, let's think of the other. Oh. shit. Shit, dude. What's the other one? No, wait. We got this. No? I don't. That lay eggs. What was the question once more? Uh, what are the only two mammals known to lay eggs? Oh, fuck. No All clue. right. I'll just stick with the platypus. Okay. So ant eater and a Holy duck-billed shit. platypus. I did not know that. I Me know. either. I didn't know an ant eater had a hole that big. Yeah. Did not know that. All right. Your turn, honeys. It's a really informative podcast. I'm enjoying yeah. this. Well, we learn this shit, but then we forget, we forget it, it after the podcast <laughs> Instantly. is over. Yeah, same. True or false? Orange, true or false? Orange. Here we go. Oh, man. True or false? Do Letting do Maggie... Do do <laughs> Maggie's over there stoned out of her fucking mind. <laughs> it honestly feels good that we're waiting on somebody else and not me. Yeah. For once. For once. <laughs> She's this waiting for the okay. words to stop moving around. Hey. Yeah, for real. <laughs> um, the first Disney princess was Cinderella. True or false? False. 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 The Snow White. Snow White. Snow White yeah. Yep. How yep. did I know that? How did I know that? How, how, that <laughs> how did anybody know that? That's crazy. Wow. It's like common knowledge for right. the average American. Here we go. Yeah. Everybody ready? It's weird. Oh, yeah. Previously asked questions. Okay. Uh oh. Here we go. Previously asked questions. Green, because if we get asked a question and we answer it, well, if we get asked it next episode, we're not going to remember. We just so much. You know, not all information sticks. Dude, there's too much uh, things that go on. Honestly, even right. in mm-hmm. life, right. there's so much freaking news and shit that just pile up. Right. You can't even focus on one subject for longer than ten minutes before something else pops up. You're right. Okay, so we're what ready. Was it? What is the black box? What color is the black box in aircrafts? Silver. Nope. Gray. No. Um. Fuck, dude. Black. Um. I'm going to say purple. Good one. Orange. Uh, so, they, so they can find it easy. Yeah. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <gasps> I remember this question. And I like don't. road signs and. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> they throw you off with the black well, box. Next, next time. Did you? Was it was my turn? Yeah. I think probably. I, no, I did. It's your turn. Oh. Here we go. I love trivia, dude. Yeah, this is fun. Sports. Sports. We better get a Red. foot question. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the feet facts because I don't know what that is. 
Maybe right. we could just spin to it. Yeah. It's our podcast. We can do whatever we want. That's fair. <laughs> we could do that. Okay, here we go. Okay. Sports. In the 1989 movie, Field of Dreams, what sport was played in the movie? Baseball. Baseball. Yeah. I yep. knew that one. Wow. <laughs> that was that was a I get mad when they're hard and I get mad when they're I easy. Know. There's no there's that no was a tricky one. Okay. <laughs> Everybody ready? Got me. Here we go. Malt spinny. <laughs> Woo! Oh, feed facts. Hell yeah. Yes. Nice spin, dude. Thank you. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh god. He's gonna get us. There are thirty six bones in the human foot, true or false. I'm oh, was that you or let's, let, you let's let, yeah. I want to say false. False. Wow. There are. I do know that. Um, 38. Did, I, no, did he get it right? N- uh, no. It's false, but. Oh. I do know that our body, like most of our bones are in our fucking feet. Like yeah. a bunch of little ones. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's he, 26 in the foot. Ooh, oh, I was going to say 26. Oh. Motherfucker. I, I saw that That's last good. night, too. Always go with your gut, honeys. Always. Okay, next time. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's do another malt spinny. Oh, yeah. Ooh, spelling. spelling. This is, I'm not good at this. Dude, I hate I'm this pretty good one. at spelling. I get nervous. Here we go. Oh, no. Maggie, do you know how to say, say the Stop word? Stop spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Spell the word parachute. P A R A C H U T E. Yeah. Correct. Whoa! Correct. Nice. What the Woo! fuck? Woo! Dude, that was awesome. Oh, good for you. Good for you, Chelsea. And that was a pure guess. Really? Yeah. I'm yeah. not a good speller. I never have been. I never will be. It's okay, though. Thank you. I'm proud of you. It's Thank good. you. I appreciate that. Dude, spelling c- is just not even fun. No. We it's, have our phones to be like, hey, how do you spell this? And I do that all the time. Well, that's like know. the only thing that I was good at in school was history and spelling and, and English. Everything really? else I was trash at. Yeah. He's like, the only thing I was good at was history, spelling, English, <laughs> math, social studies. Uh, PE. <laughs> right. Oh, I love PE. God. All right, let's do a couple more. Yeah. Let's, let's do it, baby. You spin? Oh, ready? Oh, yeah. The stars, the stars and beyond. beyond. The stars and beyond. And even after this pod, we're gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna leave foot facts up there, man. Because <laughs> that's life. Yeah. I think you should. I think that yeah. would really, really add some character. Yep. Yeah. That's yep. good. All right. Here we go. If your star sign is Libra, oh. you will be born in one of two months. Which are they? Fuck, dude. Is it October? That's one of them. Okay, I'm going to say October. Can you just say November then, right after, or what? Uh, oh, September. They tried to September, change it. September, October. September 23rd through October 22nd. Mm-hmm. See, I would not have known that. I know nothing about. Yeah. That. I stay away from horoscopes and the star signs and stuff. Yeah, I just don't know anything. But interesting. I don't know how I know that. Yeah, you <laughs> did know that. Dude, I don't All right. know nothing. Let's do one more. Is it your turn? No, I think it's you. I think I've been doing it every time, oh, but okay, shit. here we go. One more trivia. Everybody ready? <clears throat> here we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Feet facts. Oh. Ooh, hell yeah. Here we go. Feet facts, baby. <clears throat> Malt licky, baby. <laughs> Malt feety. Okay. Blank is a fungal infection that affects the regions between the toes and the soles of the feet. I'm going to let the foot guy do it. Is that athlete's foot? Yep. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Never had to deal with that. Luckily, thank God. Yeah. Because that could be bad. Like, that, dude, that my, be the facial region. Yeah. my feet used to itch so bad when mm-hmm. I played, and I don't know if it was athlete's foot, but I was playing softball at the time, that I would come home and get a butter knife <laughs> and scrape the bottom of my feet for an hour because they itch so bad and just this i don't want to say cream but this like <laughs> pus, <sighs> just stuff would come off the bottom of them yeah, and that's athlete's foot. i was for sure i had athlete's foot but it itched so bad it just went away yeah was it like a flake that came off of it no it was more a cream yeah like, like a, your cheese almost stuff? like my skin was creaming off i was scraping <laughs> oh, so 
Oh my gosh. That's, that sounds bad. It's, it's the truth, it's though. The cream and off. It's the truth, though, it's man. It's like cabin fever. Yeah. Chelsea, you said your skin was creaming off. <laughs> she, would go, she would go get steak knives. Yeah. Because oh. butter knives weren't doing steak? it. Steak? Mm hmm. She would go get those rigid steak knives and just fucking tear it up. And years no. ago, I used to make Greg you know, on that hard piece of my foot, the hard, the little hard spot. Uh -huh. I would make Greg, I would put my foot up on the couch and make him just just scratch the fuck out of that for like 10 minutes. I'm like, just scratch it. And if it wasn't enough, I'd go get a fork or. <laughs> Get a damn sander. I can get a fork or a butter knife and make him sit there and scrape my fucking foot. Dude, please stay. Did you away just from put the, the fork back tool? after you used it? No, oh, I'd clean it. Oh, okay, fair. But, but yeah, stay but yeah. away from her uh, cutlery. Yeah, the forks. <laughs> I'm seriously gonna bring my own. Stuff, I have a scraper now, foot. and my and surprisingly. My foot doesn't itch the way it used to. Even that little hard spot. Greg, sometimes if we're sitting on the couch, he'll like start scratching my foot. I'm like, no, stop it. He's like, it doesn't itch. I'm like, no, it does, doesn't itch anymore. So You've been itching with weird stuff. You came over and you're like, hey, can you get me a match? I need to itch my pussy. So, she's, so all my matches out, my decorative matches, she, she just uses them to scratch and deepen it was, her pussy. Because it was perfect because it was long and it, it, was a, it was wood and it had the rough edges. So it would have been perfect. You brought me something smooth, and I said that's not going to cut it. I need something. I need something <laughs> hard. So I I got the the little match, and I just whip up and down my slit, and it, it did the job. That might be why your pH levels are off. A hundred percent for real. Just sticking random objects, house held objects. Hundred percent. Oh my! Dude. But things itch. Was it wood? Yeah. Yeah. Like a wood. Wow. Oh, it felt great. And no splinters. Fair. No nope. splinters. No, because I didn't do it. Up and down at it to the side. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. The ridges. Yeah, the ridges were wonderful. I need to try that. Okay, so have a square ridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got I've got a, a few more foot questions before we let you go. Please. Oh, me too. Can Please. we get his best man moan? Whether you need to de-stress or keep your sleep schedule on track, CBD can help you guys. But don't settle for just any CBD product, okay? Don't do it. A recent study showed that most CBD labels are way off. And honestly, that's ridiculous, okay? Some products only contain 60% of what they claim. Hell no! Nah. Melatonin products can also be very inaccurate. Next Evo Naturals CBD delivers exactly what's on that label, okay? Their products are tested before during and after they are made so you know exactly what you paid for did you know next evo naturals help to improve your mood sometimes i'll be feeling like malt leaky and then i pop one of those cbd gummies in and my life gets turned upside down i'm not feeling stressed i just feel good and relaxed and chill these don't make you feel all crazy it's just cbd and Greg, Greg can't hardly sleep without the, the sleep gummies. He's a big, one of those sleep gummy guys. Big time. I can fall asleep within 10 seconds, but actually staying asleep is the problem for me. So if I want to sleep all throughout the night, I pop in a CBD sleep gummy and then I don't hear shit. Triple action CBD sleep calms your mind with fast absorbing CBD. Then, both fast-acting and controlled-release melatonin help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. And the Stress CBD Complex Gummies are clinically proven to reduce stress up to 70%. You guys know prescription needed. Get more Z's and more Zen in your life. Upgrade to better natural solutions from Next Evo Naturals. Go to nextevo.com and use promo code viral to get 25% off. That's 25% off at N-E-X-T-E-V-O dot com. Promo code viral. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want no, to. No, I walk around our apartment moaning, making noises. So yeah, this is, I would love to. We've been doing, we've had two different types of man moans call in. The who yeah, moan. And well, then we, some guys can actually do a really good. I want a voice, a so. real good moan, like you, like let's say. You want a man moan, like or a, a, uh, like a good, like like let's say, 
<laughs> if you could give us like 20 seconds yeah. of just moaning and silent, we'll all stay silent and you just moan for 20 seconds. Even five, whatever you're comfortable with, but 10, 20 would be great. 10, let's let's cut it. Cool. Let's so you want 20 seconds of natural man moan? Yeah. Or like just natural. Like natural man moaning for 20 seconds. Are you ready? We like we like the more like ma- just mm-hmm. natural. Yeah, the natural. Because men don't really moan. <sighs> Everybody close your eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Oh my god. He's a breather. What a cool dude. He's still doing it. I was waiting on Damien to pop in. He's still going, dude. (laughs) What a cool dude to come on the podcast and do that. I'm lightheaded now. That was crazy. I put my heart into that. You gotta go suck on some toes. Yeah. Get that oxygen back. I might have to. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that was good, Moans. Um, webbed feet. Yes or no? Oh, I've never I've never experienced a webbed foot. Would you I mean, would that be a thing that you would be into, or would you be like, no, I don't want to mess with that? Not necessarily into it, but it's not something I would, you know, cast really? cast to the side. No. Wow. I've hmm. never seen a webbed foot in human life. I feel like I have. We used to go to school with somebody that had a webbed foot. I feel, I feel like yeah. Uh. I feel like you're right. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Beth knows. I've seen it from afar, but never. Yeah. Like, oh, so never. you've been in public and saw a webbed foot. Yeah. Wow. See, we're not paying enough attention to see that. Mm-hmm. That is the, that is true. Yeah, I have my. So you got a benefit. My there. mind elsewhere. Yeah. You got a benefit there. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. probably seen some feet. Yeah. A few. Because yeah. <laughs> you're actually like kind of on the prowl, you know, yeah. as to where we're just like. Yeah, we're think we're thinking and looking at other stuff. Mm-hmm. He's looking at feet. Yeah, some, yeah, some, the ones he likes. Yeah. Is there, Connor? Is there anything that you want to add before we leave that you didn't get to talk about that you want to address about feet? Anything, Oof. or do you feel like we've covered it? I would say the one thing I want to say is that if anyone's watching this and they have a partner that's into the foot fetish thing and they're not sure about it, I would say just just go for it. Just like l- let them indulge themselves, because like to a foot fetishist, to someone that you know has had to deal with that for their life. And it's, it's not it's not a huge affliction, but to many people, it's a gross thing. So I, yeah. I guess giving them that opportunity to indulge in it okay. and kind of experience it is, will be super important to them. And I think it might even increase y'all's connectivity. I love that. I, 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 that. I think it's important to let your partner be as mm-hmm. open as possible with their sexuality and whatever whatever gets them off. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Um, this, the realm of sex is strange, bizarre, and it's weird scary at times mm-hmm. um for both partners so i would say that if, if they have that just just let them fucking go for it and, i love that and i i think they might end up getting into it too i agree respect your partner's mm-hmm. kinks 100 fucking yeah. percent yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. autumn is Amen. he giving you foot massages a lot or no every day dude chelsea would love that she would oh, love you god. to just sit under here and just fucking go for it mm-hmm. oh my god that sounds amazing Laugh with a foot fetish guy. It's you not might. Bad. It is. I mean, it's very. It, it's not a very not connecting bad. experience. You know, it's it's something very unspoken and intimate. Kind of like when you're talking about in Pulp Fiction, they're talking about the foot fetish thing. Mm-hmm. He does get a couple things right when he talks about you know how it's an unspoken kind of intimate thing between two partners. You know, even if you don't have a foot fetish, it's kind of like wow. Like, and people, I have I had so many people, uh, you know, say, oh, it's so gross. We like buttholes. I, we mm-hmm. were just talking about that exactly. last night. Yeah. yeah. And why even say anything is gross? Because one thing that's gross to you can be so good to other people. You yeah. know. You know, like. So yeah. let's, let's all joke? be a little. Let's all be a little open and a little. You know. You yeah. know, just a little nicer to everybody. Just because if it's not for you doesn't mean it's fucking blah. Exactly. Exactly. So. Oh, and uh, gosh, dude, I just had one more fucking. What fucking was it, honey? Ooh, come to me, feet. What is it? Oh. Come God. on, Maltleki. We're not leaving until you remember this question. It's just gonna I, drive I us nuts. I want to know what it is. Fuck, dude. I can't remember. It, well, it popped in and then it left. What were we talking about? Feet. We were talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good hint, dude. Yeah. Gosh. Was it webbed feet? Uh, we were talking about uh, being open with your partner, foot massages. Um, 
What if your question had nothing to do about feet? I know. It's about him <laughs> eating ass or something. <laughs> no. oh. Do something you eat totally ass? Wrong. Occasionally, yes. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yeah. Occasionally. Yeah. But it doesn't do the same as a foot does for you. Different? Yeah. It's different. You know, guys, I mean, the foot's much more yeah. you know, intimate part for me. The ass is just, it's just crazy. And the ass, ass, are, yeah. ass is a little saltier, too, I think. Yeah. Okay, sure. sometimes when me and Brett are fucking, I'll wrap my legs around and put my heel in his anus, you know, a little bit. Okay. Or well, like a... Uh, like in the like, tailbone area? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just like kind of sitting in there. Because I feel like guys just like a little bit of ass play. Yeah, And they I'm do. not inserting it, but my foot's there. I, I wonder if you would like something like that. Like a, like a heel in my butt area? Yeah. Just for sure, yeah. I mean, chilling in the cheeks. For, yeah, absolutely. I mean, more support, you know, just keeps it keeps it going for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I could definitely get into that. And then a little pressure on the anus never hurt anybody. No. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's hurt somebody out there, but not. <laughs> <laughs> but if we're generally speaking, it's not going to hurt us. A slight pressure will do, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, a slight pressure will fucking do. Oh, man. Dude, feet. Damn, I wonder what my kink is, like, if I have one and I don't even know. Here's the thing. I don't think I have a kink. And I'm upset that I don't. <laughs> I'm upset because I want something oh. and I don't have anything. You almost oh, feel yeah. left out. Yeah. I want, okay. I want something. You like to know a lot about like celebrities, kind of like, that, is that a kink? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's more an interest. You want a sexual no. kink? Yeah. yeah. You want double penetration? But, but that's not a kink. That's just a want. That's a fantasy. Yeah. That's, that's a, a fantasy. Want. There's a difference. I don't kinks are more things that kind of fall outside yeah. of the you know like regular parameters of sex. Yeah, you know? but we got to bring them inside, right? One hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, some of them can some of them can stay outside, but most yeah. of mo- most fetishes, yeah, they can absolutely. come in. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, I have one. Do you jack off to feet pictures? And do you like? Have you ever bought socks? Oh, I've never. Okay, yeah. So, yes, I have jerked off to just plain feet. Just how often? <sighs> What well, since I started getting with her, I've been just jerking off to her feet, or wow. you know, I mean, I don't really have need for it because you know. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really, um, but I've never bought a yeah. foot picture, never bought a sock, never did any of that. That wasn't wasn't my wasn't my thing. Well, you can Google feet. Yeah, there's there's millions of free f- porn and right. yeah or exactly. feet pictures. Uh, and yeah, the whole buying sock things, I wouldn't say that's a deviancy, but it's kind of like getting into that area. Yeah. So I kind of like, yeah, I'll, just, I'll be, I'll be all right. Right. What about toenail clippings? No, no, that's definitely not <laughs> my thing. Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> but, but there are people that do like, Oh yeah. Like they'll like send me a bag of your toenail clippings. I'll yeah. give you 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't blame I don't, I don't, I don't blame you guys for doing that. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. But then I think, damn, am I going to get staged for a crime? They have my pube or a toenail or, you know. No, that's why you always keep receipts on who you sell them to. I sold this to him. <laughs> that is actually a good point. A lot of people that sell fetish items like that, they have to have some type of evidence that. that and it was any, smart, yeah. any smart detective is going to know when there's a placed cut toenail in the middle of a, like, they're going to know something, something's fishy. Dude, they tried to get one dude for killing somebody because he took a piss out in the wilderness a little <gasps> pube fell out they tried to get his ass oh yeah isn't it while they found the pube in how the in the woods how long was this how thing? long did that take to find one singular pube dude they, <laughs> they're good at their jobs yeah <laughs> i'll Those give them just, that yeah they got yeah. that 20 20 vision down <laughs> exactly spotting a pube spotting a pube in the wilderness that's what gets me <laughs> hey, I can barely guys spot guys i got it <laughs> right right <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I oh. did. You guys, listen, this has been a wonderful 100th episode of the Viral Podcast. We're in triple digits. Uh-huh. Everybody, thank Connor and thank Autumn you. for yes. coming on the pod. Connor, thank you did great. You I, did. Had, I had a fucking blast. That and was amazing. Thank you for being just open and honest with us mm-hmm. and just talking about, you know, feet and jizz and everything we talked about absolutely you know? no this is a lot of fun i yeah. love being able to do that. and it's the first time that i've been able to do this on any type of platform how's it feel really good really uh, liberating yes that's the word that's very very liberating very yeah. happy you're spreading feet positivity and so many feet people and let's yeah. just get i'll be it that spokesperson Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> be the feet spokesperson when you this, need a crew when this pod comes out i'm gonna send the link to all your family <laughs> you should saw him look on his face. He's like, I won't. Yes. I won't. And his family just always starts wearing socks. And his, just they're, they're like, no, his dad's going to be like, son, me too. <laughs> yeah, he might come out. Yeah. You never no. know. 
You never know. Potentially, Maybe. potentially. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of good to be had from this. Right. Just this send your dad the yeah. link. Right. <laughs> See the With no explanation no of explanation. what it is. <laughs> right. He's just watching right. him say, "Yeah, I think my dad might have had a right. fit." He's like, "Me." <laughs> No, you yeah, skip right to that part. <laughs> yeah, just that clip. You're gonna ask like a month later, like, Dad, did, what do you think? And he's like, Oh, I never opened that link. What, 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 what'd you send me? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank <link>. God. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, and just thank you, everybody, though, for 100 yes. motherfucking oh. episodes. And so many memories have been made yep. and are going to continue to be made. And we've grown so much. And you know, we're always just gonna keep growing and with you guys and taking yep. over the damn world. Amen. And don't forget, are we ending? Yeah, we're, we're out of here. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, go oh. ahead. And call in if you have any questions about anything feet, mm. sheets, sleet, anything. Okay. Um, skeet, skeet. Mm hmm. And malt skeety. Malt skeety. And call our podcast at 442 777 3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else, else thinks. Get ready. Ready, ready, ready. We're going viral. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Woo! You did great. Thank you Hell so yeah. much. Yeah, you fucking killed it. That's fucking fun, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to